make sure you're prepared for the journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the Heartless has spread. Alright, so, uh, yeah, they're telling us we can go to the different shops, which I'm really not even going to worry about, but this is from all of us. 500 money. Spend as you see fit. And only if you beat Leon. This is from Leon. Elixir. So, while it may not be the best item to use from the get-go, later in the game, when you have a lot of HP and MP and most of it's gone, yes, I definitely want that. So, it was kind of worth it, if you ask me. But anyway, look out for each other and keep your spirits up. Okie dokie then. Alright, the gummy ship is outside that gate. There's so much dialogue that I wish I could have other people read that actually do the voices properly, but... Meh. The what? <laughs> it's just like, the gummy ship's outside that gate! The what? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Attain the power of fire. Learn magic spell fire. So now we can finally use magic spells. And, uh, like I said earlier, ethers will... Restore your MP. And Goofy gives you dodge roll. And they're going over abilities as if we don't have any already. Alright, so. With all that said, hey everybody, it's Bubble Peas, And welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the last episode, we pretty much took on everything in Traverse Town. Now, there's a couple things I'm going to go over before heading out to the next world. Hey, look at this mark. It's like, I wonder what this is. And then the box is like, oh, they're churning marks. Activate them to do stuff. And there's three blue trinities in uh, Traverse Town. And I'm going to go ahead and take care of them all right now. All right, so that's a postcard, which I haven't gotten into yet at all, really. So I'll get into it now. Um, postcards, uh, there's 10 of them throughout all of Traverse Town, but you can only get four toward the beginning of the game. Uh, the rest, you'll be able to obtain, and they'll give you different items from the little mailbox that they've got right there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the others along the way, and then, yeah, I'm basically gonna, yeah, I'm basically going to be going over, uh, some extra stuff that you can do in Traverse Town. And this is going to be a relatively short episode. I'm going to go ahead and um, move this over here, jump up here, and grab yet another postcard. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to make this a rather short episode, just going over the extras. And then in the next episode, we'll actually head out to the next world. Um, well, actually, I'll head out to the next world in this episode, but I won't start the world until... We actually um, start the next episode. There we go. Okay. Anyway, that's three of the postcards. The third one's in that little um, that box, the little safe. Uh, and I should also mention that right now there's no Heartless around because it's just a intermission after beating the final boss. Whenever you leave a world and come back, the Heartless will appear. But after you've beaten the final boss, all Heartless in the world will disappear. Um, now you can also get that chest. I'm going to try to get it right now, but it's easier to get later. But by the time you get it, um, well, by the time you get the ability that makes it easier to get, it's kind of pointless. Actually, hold on. See, I think there's like a ladder on the other side, but I think at this point of the game, it's crooked. So you can't climb it. But if you get right on the edge of this. There we go. Mega potion. So that'll increase everyone's HP by... Wait, is it 30? Yeah, restores 30 HP of all party members instead of just 30 of yourself with a potion. Um, there's no mega hide potions, unfortunately, but... Yeah, oh well. Um, so mega potions and mega ethers will be extremely helpful early in the game. Uh, later, uh, only certain items will be useful and mega items won't be that useful at all. 
Actually, no, I take that back. If you give them the Donald and Goofy, they'll be extremely helpful because if they try healing you, they're going to heal themselves as well and vice versa. So, definitely worth using then. Um, anyway, the last Trinity Mark that we can do is right here. And there's a camping set. Let's go ahead and go to the stock and see what this does. Because I don't remember off the top of my head. Restores all HP and 3 MP of each party member can only be used from the menu. So, honestly, this isn't even worth it. Because, well, I guess on occasion it, be, it can be okay. Like, if you just got through a wave of Heartless and you don't want to go heal anywhere. You don't want to waste your items. You can go ahead and use that. But I rarely ever see myself using those. Um, now from the third district, if you examine this, now the gates open between the third and first district, so now you don't have to go all around each time. Now, let's mail these four cards. Uh, Cottage, I think that restores just HP. Uh, Mythal Shard, uh, kind of a useless item right now, we'll get into it later. Uh, Mega Potion and Mega Ether. So, there you go. Uh, however, let's go back to the third district. I don't want to end this episode off just yet. There's one less extra I want to show off. So, let's head over here, lock on to this, and you have magic spells now. Uh, automatically, if you press L1, you bring up a shortcut menu, and the first three spells you learn are going to go onto the triangle, then the square, and then the X. So, see ya! You hold L1 and then you press the button to do whatever spell you want to do, and that's fire right there. Uh, you're going to learn about this much later in the game, but you can take care of it right now. If you use fire on that, you can open up the gate. Well, the door, I mean, not the gate. Um, and then hop on all these moving rocks, even though they really shouldn't be moving. There's absolutely no current out here. Um, and you can make your way up here. You see there's a chest over there, but you can't get it quite yet. Uh, you can't jump out of water. And, like, there's no... There's no way to get it yet. And here there's a yellow trinity. Uh, you may have seen uh, other colors like red and green lying around. You can only use blue trinities right now. And, Goofy, why are you just running into a wall like a... Go are you seriously blocking my path? Move! You're like Animal Crossing trolls! Frickin' move! Thank you! And Call of Duty camper troll stuff. There's something about this musty place. It reminds me of the secret place back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? Kyrie? Sora? Alright, well, it's where that was. Merlin the Wizard! What? You knew we were coming? Of course, he's a wizard. Are you a heartless? I just told you he's a wizard. He doesn't look like one. Why would you think he's a heartless? Does he look anything like those things? Like, seriously. Alright, so, King Mickey has requested his help. Um, and he knows Donald and Goofy, but he doesn't know who Sora is. He just knows that he's the one with the Keyblade. And, as you can guess... The king wants him to assist us with magic. And he has all these things shrunk down in a bag and... He, yeah. But his magic doesn't end there. With a flash. C can you decorate my house, please? <laughs> Anyway, your king asked me to train you in the art of magic. Oh, I didn't call that at all! You can start anytime you like. Alright, well... 
None of that's really important because the training is really just infinite magic training. You can sit there and shoot at a bunch of stuff and automatically restore your MP. That's really all the point of it. Just not even worth it. Hello, I'm the fairy godmother. Your king asked me to help too. I will assist you throughout your journey. That she actually will. I do not know how much how much I could be of help, but stop by anytime. Okay, you will not be of much help. Fairy Godmother, on the other hand, has a very special power that she'll be able to use later on in the game whenever things actually are covered. And honestly, I completely forgot about this trinity. There's actually a fourth trinity back here, so I'm kind of glad that I went over it. All right, all right. A mega ether so I think now we got two mega potions and two mega ethers so that's really useful um there's really nothing else we could do right now but sightsee so I'm gonna go ahead and leave actually let me go back I want to go back in and uh, save my game so that I can use this as a, a drop-off location whenever you board the gummy ship which is what we're about to go do um hold on Don't want to spoil any save file locations or anything. Um, anyway, when you board the gummy ship and you go to a new world, you're automatically going to land in a default place, but when you go back to a world you've already visited, you'll be able to go to any place you've actually used a save point. So, definitely use save points. Oh, and it's not any save point. I think it's only save points with... Um, like a full glow around it like if you saw in the green room back when we uh, first met Leon and Yuffie there was just a ring but uh, save points like the one we were just at and the one in Sid shot those actually are filled up All right, in this chest you actually can't open it it will not open it must be wait it went away immediately it must be some secret to opening it okay the secret is actually putting out all these candles the problem is when you try to undo the fourth one it's gonna keep lighting back up um, what you really have to do is something a, a little later in the game I'll come back to it but as of right now we're not able to mess with this um, okay so I think we're done here actually no there's one last thing I'll show off also, I need to equip my, um, yeah, dodge roll. There you go. And that actually makes you move a bit faster. I'm surprised I didn't do that immediately. All right, let's see. Now in the shop, they have other items. Uh, let's see, a large shield that can protect against various attacks. A small shield made for attack rather than defense. Okay, so they got all this that you can you can buy, but honestly, at this point, nothing's too worth your money. Like, mm, let's see. Hammer made for combat reduces max MP by one. I don't really like that for Donald because he mostly spans magic attacks. You know what? I'll go ahead and buy Morning Star and Smasher. I want Goofy to actually attack. Um, because it doesn't matter how big the shield is, he can block attacks. Um, and then bigger shields really just raises defense more. I think so. Let's go ahead and give Donald. The Morning Star, which will increase his strength by one, but doesn't reduce his magic. So this is a little better. I don't think it's really worth 300 money, but just for the sake of showing it, there you go. Um, and let's see, Goofy Night Shield. Let's give him the Smasher. That'll actually give him a bit more uh, strength. So this is actually kind of worth it. So let's give him the Smasher. And now for Sora... Let's come back here and look at the Brave Warrior. This will increase your HP by 3 and your Strength by 1. 
In situations like this, screw defense. Give any extra stuff to Donald, because Donald dies way too fast. That is just the life lesson that I've learned, and I will pass upon thee. Anyway, with all that done, let's head out to the world exit. And here, long story short, select a box, go to it. Okay, so, if you head to the right, there's a battle level of one. If you head down, there's a battle level of two. So, common sense would tell you to go to the easier world, but honestly, this world is different from all the rest. So, I'm actually going to cover that last. There's going to be more worlds popping up, obviously. Like, that that's a given. Why would they only give you these few worlds? Like, honestly. So, I'm going to come to this one last out of the bunch that I've got to do. So, let's head off to the first unknown world. Alright, we travel to different worlds in the gummy ship. The heartless ships often give us a hard time. Always be on lookout during flight. Your journey will be documented until you reach your destination. Seek out missions worlds. Wait, seek out the missions each world has to offer. Control the gummy ship with the left stick, tilt it up to descend, and tilt it down to ascend. Blue gate shows the power level, firing lasers, among other things, blah blah blah. Okay. And the armor is literally your your HP. Now something I don't like compared to the original game is I think they changed the button layouts, unless I'm crazy, but. Before, X used to be shoot and circle used to be uh, hit the brakes. Now it's vice versa, and I really don't like that. Um, it just feels weird. But anyway, they've got all these little blocks that show up whenever you destroy ships. Uh, those are gummy blocks which you can use to make your own ships. So, you can do the whole game with just this ship, and it's really no big deal, but just for extra customization and just for your own fun, if you find it fun, you can go ahead and make your own ships. Now, they really fixed this in Kingdom Hearts 2. Whenever I LP Kingdom Hearts 2, I'm definitely making my own ships. But for this one, I'm still thinking about it. I'm not sure yet. I'm probably going to, but you really don't have to. You can get through the whole game with just this. Like, you go forward and you shoot straight. Like, how much more difficult, well, I'm sorry, how much easier can it possibly be? It doesn't seem that difficult. So let's kill a few more of these guys and try to get some more gummy blocks at least. And there's a bunch of blueprints. Oh, those were out of reach. Are you kidding me? Anyway, the blueprints will be like, um, guidelines for building a ship. And if you have all the, um, all the gummy blocks necessary... You can unlock that gummy ship. Alright, new high score, which is a one-time thing, obviously. Like, I mean, I'm sorry, a first-time thing. Um, anyway, in the next episode, we're going to take on Wonderland. So, I'll see you guys then. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Goodbye.